Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Chapter 6, focusing on the pronunciation of multisyllable words with common suffixes. For this particular activity, Communicative Practice, page 57, it's a find someone who activity. This is a very common activity uh, in classes, maybe uh, for those of you that attended high school here in the United States. I know many of you indicated that you have. Uh, it is a very common icebreaker activity to get to know your classmates, right? And to get to know uh, interesting things about them and about their life experience, their hobbies, their interests, their talents. And so we're going to do that here in our class. So for page 57, you know, normally if we were in the classroom, you would go around and ask one another, you know, can you play a musical instrument? Do you, can you drive a car with uh, a standard, you know, manual transmission? Um, have you ever been a photographer at a wedding? You will go around asking people that. But instead, we're going to do it a little differently. For yourself, I want you to pick three squares that best describe you. Now, if you feel... Maybe you don't feel comfortable, or for whatever reason, you don't want to do yourself. You can choose someone else, your husband, your wife, your son, your daughter, uh, someone that you know. So you choose. You can do for you, or you can talk about somebody else that you know. But in any case, pick three squares that best describe you, or best describe the other person that you've chosen. Uh, and so you're going to pick any three. For example, maybe you're someone who buys organic food when possible. You go to the farmer's market or the grocery store. You really try to buy organic, organic food when possible. We'll give a little bit more information. Where? Where do you like to buy that organic food? Uh, what's another one? Ulysses, for example, uh, I believe has a degree in engineering or would at, at the very least would like to obtain a degree in engineering. Well, what kind of engineering? Electrical engineering? Mechanical engineering? I'm going to be using some of those words with suffixes to elaborate on that particular square. Um, let's see would volunteer to go to Mars. So Perseverance uh, landed recently, I believe it was last month or maybe two months ago on Mars. The first time that we've successfully uh, landed a spacecraft, autonomously at least, autonomously a spacecraft has landed on Mars. Uh, really cool stuff, exciting stuff. Would you volunteer to go to Mars? And if so, who would you bring with you? <laughs> it's an interesting one to think about. So pick any three squares that best describe you or that you really like. And for each square, provide additional information about that particular uh, square. You know, what kind of instrument do you know how to play? What kind of car do you drive? Or what kind of celebrity would you like to meet? Okay, so it'll probably be about three sentences long, three complete sentences long, or maybe actually more like six complete sentences long. Because you're going to answer the question and then give a little bit more information. You can do a video or you can do a written post as always. Remember to make sure to re respond to the posts of three classmates, some things that you have in common, things about their posts that you find funny or interesting. And we always want to make sure that we do that um, so that we acknowledge one another and create that engagement, that discussion, which is what this assignment is all about. So have fun with this one. It's similar to the previous assignment that we just did, the previous discussion. Enjoy connecting with one another. And I look forward to your responses and learning a little bit more about each and every one of you.